First, our astronaut friend, Ed Liu, who you'll meet in a moment, was an innocent participant in this demonstration. He was not a Confederate. He knew only that he was instructed to take along with him on his latest space voyage, a sealed deck of cards. And nothing in this videotape has been reenacted. While the taping was in progress, neither party, here on Earth or up in space, could see the other party. Okay, Ed, I think everybody's on board Space to Ground 2, and we're looking forward to watching y'all work. Watch and be amazed. I guess I will be, too. And go ahead, Mr. Randy. Hello, Randy. Are you there? Oh, I'm here, all right. We lost contact for a minute there, but we're fine now. And I do have a deck of cards right here. And it's sealed, is it, Ed? Unopened. Very good. You're doing well. Hey, would you like me to open the uh, deck now? Okay, have you got a couple of cosmonauts beside you there? We don't have access to one at the moment, so it's just going to be me here. But I am being filmed, so that ought to count, correct? Okay, fine. So, Ed, what I'd like you to do is I have a brand new deck of cards that we just picked up from the local drugstore here, and I'm going to open my deck now for the first time. It's going to be exposed to the light of day. And here it is. Are you opening yours, too? Do that, and do you have uh, somebody reputable there to uh, make sure you're not cheating? Do we have somebody reputable? We have a gentleman from the local newspaper here uh, who is uh, rather agog on all this, and a couple of photographers as well. Now, I, I have a couple of notes on this new deck. I have a couple of jokers here, so I'm putting them aside, and a couple of advertising cards as well from the bottom, and I'm putting those aside as well. If you have those in there, do the same thing, please. And Ed down here at Mission Control, we'll vouch for you. I'm opening it up now. <laughs> okay. And to take out any jokers or any advertising cards. Okay, got rid of the jokers, got the, rid of the ads, and uh, just got a plain old deck here. And then I'll be doing a ruffle shuffle, but I want to make sure that your deck is as well shuffled as mine, so start shuffling your cards. But Ed, be careful because in outer space, I think it's more difficult to shuffle cards. You're going to be right here. I'm going to see if I can do this without the, having these fly all over the place. Yeah. You can't place the easy card pickup here because they uh, don't fall down. Okay, I'm shuffling, and I assume you are. Trying at the moment. Okay. As soon as you're satisfied that you're shuffled, let me know. It's kind of a slow process here. <laughs> let, me, let me shuffle it twice more here. Yeah, I guess so, eh? Shuffled it and uh, cut it once for good measure. Without looking at the pack, I'm going to put it underneath the table, and I'm going to take one card out from somewhere around the middle of the deck, turn it over, and place it back inside the pack. I want you to do the same thing, please. Oh, I can't really put it under a table here, but I can put it behind my back. How's that? Okay, that's fine. Good enough. As they say, close enough for government work. We work for the government here. Yes, I, I just remembered in time, yes. It's important that you don't know what card you turned over. To put it and I'm to put it back in the middle of the deck again, correct? Yeah, turn but it over down. and put it back in the middle of the deck so you'll be able to find the card that you've chosen. 
Okay, I'm done with that. All right, now. And I have not looked at it. All right. Now take your the, the box that you had the cards in, and without looking, place the deck of cards back into the box and seal, uh, seal the box up, as I've done. All right? You got that now? I got to get the uh, box back out of the plastic bag I stuck it in. Uh, of course. Now I would like you to take, in, inside of the camera that you have there, I want you to turn the pack to, to face the camera and go through the cards until you come to the card that's turned over. One card here that is upside down. And that must be the card that you chose. Would you perch it in the end of the pack so that it shows plainly to the camera and tell everyone what is that card? And Ed, we see the card. It is. I'm showing it to the camera right now. And it is the Seven of Diamonds. The Seven of Diamonds. Now, Ed, I'm going to open up my pack. And I'm doing this in front of our cameras here. And I'm going to go through it. And I'm going to look for the card that I turned over. And here it is right here. As a matter of fact, it's the only card in the pack that is turned over. And um, i got a surprise for you. It is the Seven of Diamonds. By golly. Now, I'm going to ask... Hey, what so, Ed, can you I put make? the impartial observer on? Yep. Did you yes. notice that? Yes. And it is a seven of diamonds. Now, Ed, this is a question for you. It's a mathematical question. But it's not too difficult, though you may get it wrong. This is a trick, of course. It's a card trick. But tell me something now. What are the chances of us both having chosen the same card? What are the chances of that? If you were just an ordinary Joe Blow off the street, I would say one in 52. But since right. I know that you're a professional magician, I would say 100%. Very good. That's the answer I was looking for, Ed. Congratulations. The chances of a trick working, if it works, 100%. So it's not 1 in 52. You don't have to be a scientist to work these chances out. 1 in 1 is 100%. And you are a scientist, Ed, so you came up with the right answer. I congratulate you. And thank you very much for your help. And by the way, we should... Thanks, I'm skeptical. Audience. I know you. <laughs> we should say to our audience that you knew nothing about this in advance, that you simply took with you up on the Soyuz, uh, what, a couple of months ago now, you took a deck of cards in a sealed condition, and you're not in on this as a, as a uh, stooge or anything like that, correct? Is correct. Very good. Thank you, Ed. One card. <laughs> Bring the deck back. Bring it to the camera now, since I guess you can't see. I might want a, a souvenir, so bring that deck back with you just in case. I'd like to have that as a souvenir. Got it. I will at least bring back this one card. But thanks very much, Ed. It's been a pleasure talking with you. <laughs> yep. And come back safely to us now, Ed. Thank you again. And from Earth to space, thanks and bye-bye. Andy, and uh, we'll be talking to you when I get back on the ground. Bye-bye. Good. Bye-bye.